In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a program for the cross product for vectors on your TA-84. You can also use this for the triple scalar product. But first, let's do the dot product. Nobody ever told me this, but you can actually do it built in. You do second left curly brace, because that's how you represent vectors, and do one comma two comma three, and the curly brace, open the second curly brace, and let's just simply do three comma four comma five. You don't technically need this second one. Now when you press enter, you get the x, y, and z components multiplied together, because here you have one times three, two times four, three times five. And you can just add these three up. And what do you know? The calculator already has a built-in function. Do second stat, now left, into the math menu, and then five for sum. And then I'm gonna do the up arrow, and I'm just gonna copy this first one again, so that we have the sum, and that adds up to 26. That's the dot product. Now the cross product is actually much more complicated. This page has some fancy math about how it's defined, and usually when you're calculating it by hand, you think about it right here with determinants. Right over here is the formal definition, and the one I'm going to be using to create the program. It looks complicated, but it's actually not that hard. For the cross product, we actually need to create a program. So do program, and then left for new, and then give it a name. I'm just going to call it cross, so C, R, press enter. Now on the first line we need to get an input from the user. So we do program and then IO and then input. Now we're going to prompt them for some text. Do second plus to get the quote. This will be shown to the user but isn't an actual instruction. Now I want to type A comma B comma C and the curly brace, and then I'm gonna do second math equals so that the user know what they're entering. Do second plus again to end the quote, that's important, and then comma. This is what we actually want to get from the user. Where we want to store this vector, we're actually gonna store it in a list. We're gonna be using a list, which means you could have infinite amount of things, but we're gonna assume that the user knows that cross product can only be defined for two vectors that have three elements. Now the second line I just skipped because it's almost the same thing. I just gave a different prompt, and I'm going to store it this time in L2. The third line is where it gets kind of confusing. First of all, display, program, write, IO, 3 for display. I'm going to give it a prompt again. I'm going to say A cross B, and then second math equals sign, and my quote, comma. All this stuff, it needs to be inputted on one single line. You won't be able to put any spaces, and you need to make sure to pay attention to the commas. It starts with a curly brace, then it's L1, parenthesis, 2. This means we're going to access the second element in L1. Now, second L2, and we're going to access the third element in L2. Multiply those together. Subtract. Now, I'm skipping here because it's just quite tedious to copy everything. Just notice the pattern. You have L1 multiplied by L2 every single time. And then the subscripts, 2, 3, and 3, 2. They actually switch in each set of commas. 1, 2, 3. This is the X, Y, and Z components. Also put a download link for the complete program. Now let's test it out. Quit, and do program, enter for cross, enter to actually enter the program. Now you do, right here, you definitely need this first curly brace. Now you need to enter it in the form we asked for. 3, comma, negative 3, comma, 1. Press enter. You don't actually need the second curly brace. My second vector is 4, comma, 9, comma, 2. Enter, and you should get this result. Negative 15, negative 2, 39. If you get this, it should be all set. You can verify it with determinants if you want. This is the program for cross products. If you were given a vector in the form of i, j, k, where you had 2i plus 3j, you need to add a third placeholder 0 since you have no k component. And remember that the triple product is actually the dot product of one vector with the cross product of another. Order doesn't matter, you could have done b dot a cross c. We already calculated the cross product of these two, so now we just need the dot product of a with the result. So do second stat left math 5 to get the sum, and then write in your a vector. 4 comma 1 comma 2, and your first vector, open your second vector, now you need to copy this right here. This is actually a list, even though it has the curly braces, it doesn't have the commas in between, so you can't just copy the result that you got in the program. You have to manually do it. But negative 15 comma negative 2 comma 39 isn't that hard to write out. When you press enter, you should get 16. Because the scalar triple product is a scalar, it will give you a number, because it's multiplying these two vectors together and adding them.